I would like to show you the best free video transcoder handbrake, which you can use to convert your video between different formats, to change its resolution or to just compress it. So let's have a look at handbrake in more details. Handbrake is an open source application, so it is available in any Linux distribution. It is also available in Mac OS and Windows. So regardless of what system you use, you can install and use Handbrake to convert videos between different formats. If you're on Linux, you just need to go to the software center, search for it and install, as I have done here on my KDE Neon. After you have installed it, you open it and you will see the interface similar to this one. There are many options you can use with these applications and I can say I have not explored all of them and I not sure I know all of them. But there are some basic things which you can have done and I think this is what most users need to do. So I will show you how to convert a video as an example and I believe it will give you a hint how to use this program for your particular case. When you open this application you just need to load the source video and in this case I will use my channel trailer. After you have opened it the program will automatically recognize this video properties you can see it is coded with H264 codec, it is 1080p resolution, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And the simplest way to convert this video between different formats is to go to these presets. And here you already have a choice between different presets. In general, there are some general settings which would fit most of the cases. But if you want to convert your video for a specific case, for example, if you want to convert it for a specific device, you can see list of different devices here. Or more often you need to convert a video, for example, for a web server. For example, let's see, I want to convert this video for YouTube and since it is 1080p video, I want to compress it and I will also keep the frame rate as 30. So I will select this preset and Handbrake have already changed all the settings automatically for me. But if you want to tweak it a bit, you can go through each of these settings and tweak it even more. For example, you can change the dimension of this video, but I usually recommend not to touch a dimension, unless something is already wrong with your video. You can also apply different filters here, which unfortunately I don't know how to use, so I'm not going to talk too much about these filters. Here in the video you can change frame rate, you can also change the encoder, but usually I recommend you not to touch an encoder unless you need to specifically change it. In the audio, this is also very useful and this is what I want to do for this particular video because it is a little too loud for me. So if I click here on this uh, speaker icon, I can decrease the volume and I need to decrease it by 20 decibel. Okay, good. Now I click OK. So I have decreased the audio for this video. If you want, you can add subtitles here, which may be very useful if you submit this video for somebody who needs subtitles. You can even specify different chapters for your video and you can add tags here. After you have done all of this, check again if everything is fine in your summary. And before you convert this video, you need to define where you want to save it. You click here and define where you want to save it. I will go to the other location. Then I would save it to my temporary directory in the video folder. OK. And I will change its name, for example, 720p. Now I can click start and the conversion will start. You will see the notification that conversion has finished. And if I open that folder, I can see two videos here. One was 1.8 megabytes and this video is like three times, more than three times smaller now. But it is also of different format. And I didn't want to convert it to M4V. I actually want it to be a web M format here. So I can change web format here and start again. So now I have this video compressed to 720p in WebM format, which is two times smaller than the original file, which is here. And it also has little lower sound level. I hope this application was useful and if you need to convert your videos between different formats or if you want to compress it to smaller resolution or you want to change frame rates, you can easily do it with a handbrake open source application for Linux, Mac and Windows. Thank you for watching.
Thank you.